This past Sunday, Marilyn Manson raised eyebrows when he participated in a prayer circle and a religious ceremony with Kanye West and Justin Bieber. This is not to shame Marilyn Manson for any religious beliefs that he has or doesn't have, but it is certainly ironic given the fact that he is known as the Antichrist superstar. He has spent decades burning Bibles on stage. So hopefully you can see why this is noteworthy. If Marilyn Manson is now Christian, this would of course dramatically change his imagery on stage. It's hard to imagine he would become a Christian and subsequently continue burning Bibles on stage. Does this mean that Marilyn Manson and Joel Osteen will soon be hosting services because that's exactly what his friend Kanye West has done? This entire thing has garnered so much attention that People Magazine actually reached out to Marilyn Manson's publicist and they actually responded about whether or not he has converted to Christianity. And this is very interesting because the publicist does not deny that Marilyn Manson might have converted to Christianity. The spokesperson for Marilyn Manson pointed out that Manson was, quote, an integral part of the Sunday service. For those of you who are unaware of what the Sunday service is, Kanye West himself is a devout Christian. This is, in fact, a Christian service that he has been putting on now for years. And again, Kanye West has previously brought him out at his Donda listening party back in August, but that wasn't as much of a religious event. Sunday service absolutely is. Manson's publicist said, quote, throughout his career, Marilyn Manson has collaborated with innovative and legendary artists across all musical genres, and Ye is no exception. When asked about whether Manson has converted to Christianity, again, the spokesperson said, quote, that's nobody's business. Again, Christian groups have protested Manson shows for years. Going back to the 90s, he was heavily criticized by Christian leaders who essentially blamed him for the Columbine shooting. So it's a very big deal if he is now on the side of Christianity. People also reached out to Justin Bieber's representatives. Manson has previously had a bit of a public tiff with Justin Bieber, where he read his text messages on air on an appearance on Howard Stern. His publicist said Justin Bieber didn't know in advance that Marilyn Manson was going to be there. It sounds like he's distancing himself from Manson. One of Manson's accusers by the name of Ashley Smithline is publicly suing Marilyn Manson. She lashed out at Justin Bieber and Kanye West for aligning themselves with Manson. She said, quote, it's just like being traumatized. It's heartbreaking. It makes me sick. How is this the world we live in? She went on to say it makes everyone really fucking sick. This is just like being re-traumatized. Manson has only appeared publicly with Kanye West. He has not made any other public statements, video announcements, musical releases. Since the allegations have begun stacking up against him, you'll recall his former girlfriend, Evan Rachel Wood, has testified pointing the finger at Marilyn Manson as her abuser as well. Manson has strongly denied the claims against him, releasing a statement calling them, quote, horrible distortions of reality. We'll be following the developments in the Marilyn Manson case as they go forward, and we will keep you posted on future updates. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future stories. Check out the recommended videos on your screen and visit rockfeed.net for more.